Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Uh, this question comes from George, KO4LLC, um, and it's an interesting question. He says he's pretty new to amateur radio, about eight months in, so congratulations to you on joining the wonderful world of amateur radio. Um, I've been experimenting with my Wolf River coil. I've been experimenting with my Wolf River coil. Then he gives me an acronym I don't know the meaning of, TIA. Center-loaded vertical antenna in making it somewhat directional by using the radials in different layouts. Okay, if he has a center, oh, center-loaded vertical antenna. Okay. Um... I've added my own radials using a found spool of 12 AWG insulated copper wire. This right here is a spool of insulated copper wire that's uh, stranded. It's uh, 12 gauge. It comes from Home Depot. And I just looked it up on the catalog. And it's about $100 for a roll of 500 feet. And this can be made into multiple dipoles or you can do like what I did with my uh, current uh, my current vertical antenna and just made more more and more radials um, if you want to put in uh, 20 25 foot radials it use up the whole spool or 25 20 foot radials uses up the whole spool okay so um, what I'm doing, he's, he's got, I'm using seven radials. I would go with more, um, approximately 32 feet. You can mix and match lengths on radials without a problem. You, uh, 32 feet to use on 40 meters. And I substituted the whip with the three meter or nine foot six inch chameleon military folding whip. I'm primarily doing this experiment on 40 meter phone. Um, what I am doing is laying down four radials in the general compass direction I want to make contact and three in the secondary direction. I've made CUSOs in Europe, Canada, and California Virginia, from Virginia, but I'm wondering if this is why or just the luck of the bands. Is there any merit to this thought process? Thank you for your time. He's running 100 watts on batteries. Uh, antenna SWR is excellent. Okay. Um, the idea of radials is uh, you're using four and it will kind of push the signal in the direction of the radials. Like if you have all your radials on one side, most of your signal will go that direction. I would recommend going ahead and putting up a lot more radials so that your antenna will get the same reception all the way around rather than just in the one direction where the radials are. You're not getting any gain by putting radials just in one direction, but rather that's where the signal's being directed and you're kind of losing the ability of the antenna to radiate effectively in other directions. So get a roll of this wire or go get some more found wire and see if you can put uh, some more in. Is there merit to the idea that you want to move your radials kind of in a direction you might want to communicate? The answer to that is yes, it does a little bit. Okay, it might give you as much as half an S unit um, of additional help in that direction. Uh, longer radials will tend to focus the signal a little bit more. But then the way you rotate rotate that antenna you got to go move all those radials well uh, I would suggest just adding more radials if you can do that you can make that a long-term project because uh, you'll want to just put in uh, more radials add them uh, DX engineering makes a radial plate that gives you something to mount the radials to and then you have a connection to the the ground uh, at that point, but I think you said that your antenna, oh, it's center loaded, not center fed. So that means you do need the radials on it. Okay, 
Sounds like you've been having a lot of fun. I want to congratulate you this far into ham radio for getting into HF and finding out what is available on HF. It's a lot of fun. It's good to talk to people you've not yet met uh, who are abroad in the United States or whatever. So there you have it. Giveaway number four is coming up. And this is giveaway number four right here. It's an antenna. It's an antenna by Alpha Delta. And it's uh, the model uh, DXEE. And it has traps for 40 and 20. So it'll work on um, whichever half of the 40 meter band you select. You can select like the lower half so you can work FT8. You can select the upper half so you can do sideband. Then it covers all of 20, all of 15, and the important part of 10 meters. Okay, so it's got um, a uh, it's a fan dipole plus it's the trapped dipole. It's a very nice antenna. They're kind of pricey. It's built like a Sherman tank. It is very very sturdy. It has another advantage. It is only 40 feet long and yet it will cover 40 meters. So, and it's got nice gray wire that's hard to see. Uh, this can be set up as an inverted V, even only 20 feet high, and so it'd be a great antenna in some HOAs that uh, will allow limited antennas, but not the great big ones. I kind of like this antenna. Uh, this was one of the antennas that I considered to be the reference station antenna. But because it only covered part of 40 meters, it was not selected. It's still a fine antenna. Um, here's how you enter. Send a postcard, QSL card, or a simple uh, envelope with a single sheet of paper in it. Send it to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. If you want to support this channel uh, financially, you certainly may do so by going to decastlercom slash support. Lots of different ways that you can do that. And until we next meet, 73.